What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be covering my trout fishing setup. Now this is going to be a quick video just because there's not a whole lot going on here. What I like in my trout setups is a longer rod. This is a 6.6 medium light action. We would actually technically use this for Sankos, Ned Rigs, stuff of that nature. This is technically a bass rod. But the reasons I like this is longer rod, you can definitely cast a lot further. So when I'm on big creeks like Penn's Creek up north or the Little Juniata, places like that, I can bomb these spinners way out there, further than what the fly fishermen can cast and a hell of a lot further than what a, a four foot six ultralight can cast. I also have a 2500 size Daiwa reel on here. I do not recommend these. They only last about a year for me. That's with pretty heavy usage. But again, they only last a year and I would expect reels to last a little bit longer than that. I do upkeep my stuff pretty well. But yeah, 2500 size, maybe a little smaller to a 2000. I like a bigger reel just because it holds more line. And I am trying to bomb these spinners as far as I can and cover as much ground as humanly possible. Now, let's get to the business side of things. My line. I like 10 to 15 pound braided line. I know that is overkill. I'm not using the braided line because I think I'm going to catch a 10 or 15 pound trout. I know that's not ever probably going to happen. I don't like losing these darn spinners. So I like having a braided line that's heavy enough that when I get it into the trees, I have a fighting chance of getting my spinner back. At the end of the braided line, I have a ball bearing swivel. Very small. I don't know the exact size of this one. Um, I like to keep it obviously very small. After that, I have 10 pound fluorocarbon. Again, I know it's overkill. You would use that for bass fishing, I know. I'm not using it because I think I need that much strength. I'm trying to not lose my spinners, and that's why I use fluorocarbon because it's clear in the water. Then coming down at the end, I have my spinner. This is a size six Panther Martin. It used to be black and yellow, but it seems as though all the colors are gone, and now I just have a lead colored spinner with a gold blade on it but that is my setup this is what i use to catch all of my fish um if i could i'd go to a seven foot a seven foot rod i feel as though i can cast more accurately and i definitely know i can cast further with a rod like this so hopefully this changes your ideas of only using a light action rod or an ultra light rod for trout i get it it's a lot of fun to use that stuff but i'm trying to put numbers of fish in the net as much as possible especially when i'm making these videos that's why i like using this because i know if i cover more ground and essentially well technically cover more water i have a better chance of catching more fish for the videos that i made so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. It helps my videos reach more people. If you like these kinds of setups, I highly recommend them, guys. Give them a chance, especially if you already have bass fishing gear. Just give a rod like this a chance. Uh, I cast these very accurately, and I cast them very far. I can outcast just about anybody on the water by a long shot. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace.